Hey everyone, welcome to our daily devotions. I'm Josh and me and Carly are campus pastors here in Sheffield. And today we are praying for a breakthrough in salvation. And we're going to be reading a few verses or one verse in particular, but to give you context from Matthew chapter nine, Jesus is preaching uh, the good news. He is healing the sick of every kind of illness. And it says he looked upon the crowds and had great compassion on them as if they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he get down, we get down to verse 38 and it says this. So pray, this is Jesus speaking. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. When we read these verses, we really see um, Jesus's passion for people who don't know him. And also his command that we should pray to God to send more people um, to accelerate that which Jesus started himself. And so as his disciples, we want to be like him, but also do what he did. And so I want us to pray for three things. Firstly, that God would send his church, that God would send us, that we would live with a fresh passion for those that don't know him. We would live with a greater revelation that we are sent. Uh, wherever we are, we are there because God has sent us there that we live with the revelation that we have been commissioned and sent to make disciples on our streets, in our homes, in our workplaces, wherever we go, every day, everywhere, every person that we come across and meet, we, we carry a message of hope and salvation and joy and eternity that we have um, been commissioned and sent to share. And uh, so may God send his church. And like the church, uh, as it started in Acts, and it says that, that people were being added to the church daily, may we see in 2023 um, people coming to know him every day. How incredible would it be to, to see that happen this year? that we would not live, not just live with a come and see mentality because salvation is not just for a Sunday. It's not just for um, an opportunity to come to know him in two hours on a Sunday. Um, so let's not just live with this come and see mentality, but also a go and tell mandate that wherever we go, we've gotten the opportunity to share Jesus with someone else. So firstly, let's pray um, as we've been commanded to, that God would send his church. But secondly, that God would give us great boldness, that this year as, as his people, that we would carry um, a great boldness. And um, we see with Jesus, he, every time he was declaring the gospel, declaring the good news about the kingdom, there was also a demonstration of power. So Jesus sets an example, he creates a model here where the declaration of the gospel should always come, you know, hand in hand together with a, with a demonstration of his power. So as his disciples, we want to do what he does. And so we want to have the boldness. So let's pray for boldness to, to share and to bring into conversation what we believe, but also to move in his power, to be naturally supernatural at the school gates, on the bus, in the university, on, on the office lunch break to move in his power, um, to, to be aware of the Holy Spirit, what he's speaking, and to use the spiritual gifts that we, ev every single one of us, have access to, words of knowledge, um, gifts of, of healings and miracles that we'd see uh, demonstrations of his power. May 2023 be filled, every Sunday be filled with the stories of what's been happening Monday to Saturday as we've had the boldness as audacious church to be audacious um, and to declare, but also to demonstrate God's power. And thirdly, so we want to pray for that God would send his church, that, that he would give us great power, but thirdly, great compassion. Jesus had great compassion. We've just read that it's in, in the verses. Jesus had great compassion. Now, great, now, compassion is more than an emotion. It's more than a feeling. Um, compassion is being compelled to action. It's being driven by love. It's being moved by love that, that because of great compassion, I've just got to do something. And uh, we want to pray. May we pray that God breaks our hearts, that he softens our hearts for his people, for those that do not know him. 
Um, because when we look out and we see people, maybe we see a neighbor, a friend, a family member, maybe we see a stranger or an acquaintance, but God sees his child. God sees the one that he knitted together. He knows them by name, personally, the hairs on his head. He sees the state of their soul and he longs for them. He loves them for the joy set before him. He endured the cross for them. And so his heart is moved um, by them. And so we want to be, as disciples, we want to be like him and allow our hearts to be softened and broken and moved when we see and come into contact with people who don't know him. Uh, because we, the Bible says that, that man looks on the outward, but God looks at the heart. And so we want to see how God sees. We want to live with the revelation of eternity and see um, that this person, although maybe on the outside, they, it looks like they have it all together, this person needs Jesus. So we're going to pray uh, that God sends his church. We're going to pray this year we have great boldness as Audacious Church, but also we're going to pray that God breaks our heart and gives us great compassion. Just finally, I want to leave you with this thought, and this has been a prophetic word that from these verses that we've been holding on to. As he says, um, so pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest to ask him and ask him to send more workers into his field. Send more workers into his fields. Um, prophetically, we, we felt that maybe some of these workers that he's talking about, um, when we're saying God send more workers, maybe they're not. Maybe these workers are not even saved yet. Uh, it's a great thought, but in Acts 2, when the church exploded, the Holy Spirit came, there was 120, and that 120 grew rapidly, and thousands were getting saved and baptized, filled with the Spirit. The church was exploding, they were causing chaos wherever they went. Uh, the church was moving forward by force, but in those Acts 1, Acts 2, Acts 3, Acts 4, Acts 5, when the church was exploding, um, the Apostle Paul was still Saul. Um, Paul wasn't even saved at that moment, called Saul, a religious leader that was trying to do everything he could to stop the church. And so may we believe prophetically that this year um, that God is going to send workers, that, that maybe our next campus pastors, our next youth pastors and worship pastors, small group leaders, our next people who are going to really be ambassadors in places of great influence in our cities and nation and across the world are not even saved yet. That in 2023, may we see a breakthrough in salvation, that people have a Damascus Road, Saul to Paul experience, that people were maybe atheists and completely against the gospel, radically transformed encounter um, with Jesus that would send them as workers into the field um, to see great impact for the gospel in the advancement of his kingdom. Let's believe that. Let's prophesy, prophesy, prophesy that. Um, I, finally, I read in a book once this quote, and I'll finish with this, um, that much can be done after we've prayed, but very little can be done before we've prayed. So Audacious Church, let's pray for a breakthrough in salvation. Much love. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.